Hello guys, welcome back to another video, Jamo here, bringing you the next episode of my FIFA 15 career mode with Chelsea. The two games in this episode are Bournemouth and Aston Villa, but we start off with a couple of player conversations with Courtois and Brown, both of which are basically saying that they want to make a start within this game, Courtois especially, um, because he's been playing very well recently and I totally agree with him. Um, Brown, he's a reserve striker and I am tempted to actually put him into the first team for this game, this cup match against Bournemouth. So let's go into the side and put these two players in. Um, go change the team sheet to the cup team sheet. Um, bring Courtois in for Petr Cech. Um, put Brown on the bench for Diego Costa and then take Didier Drogba, put him on the bench and uh, replace him with Isar Brown. And I think that was it, unless I made another couple of changes. Like, just, I think, I don't know what I'm doing here, but, uh, I'm not too sure what I'm doing here. Just looking at the, uh, looking at the recording. But I do bring Nathan Ake in to the start at 11 to give him a bit of a go at first team football as well. So, um, yep, the first game is a third round Capital One Cup match against, um, Bournemouth at home. Hopefully, we can get the win. That we need to take us into the fourth round. So um, let's jump straight into it. The team looks pretty strong indeed. Uh, Loftus Cheek is on the left hand side for Edin Hazard. And if need be, I'll bring Loftus Cheek off at half time for Edin Hazard. So let's jump straight into this cut match against Bournemouth. So here we go then, another game at Stamford Bridge, this time in the Capital One Cup against Bournemouth of the Championship. Um, a very uh, dark night, this night looks rather different, obviously. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about, basically. But uh, the teams are now out there, and let's just, I want to just get into this game. Courtois comes into the side, as you know, um, as he wants to continue with his good run of form. Uh, Bournemouth have a couple of players in form as well. I line up Courtois in goal, Aspilicueta and Felipe Luis as the uh, centre back, as the full backs. Ramirez and Mikel as the central defensive midfielders. Loftus Cheek, Salah, Willian, and Brown make up the front four. And hopefully we can get the win that we need. But the first highlight here uh, Bournemouth come down the left hand side. Uh, they get past. He tries to get past John Terry, but uh, if we get another game, John Terry makes uh, a challenge, commits a foul, and gets himself another yellow card. Um, thoroughly deserved. He, he, it potentially could have been a red, because if you see there, he got both feet off the ground. So I feel as though that yellow was very lucky. He could have been sent off. He really could have been. But uh, Bournemouth get the free kick, and uh, we make the defending look really easy but check uh check no courtois makes a good save brown picks up the loose ball here goes running for the defense doing very well indeed gets into a bit of space gets his shot away and bournemouth have cleared it away a good bit of play from brown looks like he's gonna have a decent game in this one and hopefully he can score his debut goal in the first team Played out, uh, Salah plays it over the top for Brown. I think it was Asper de Quetta actually. He plays it into the middle for Willian or Mikel rather. Um, gets into a little bit of space, but his shot away was poor as it goes quite away wide. Wilson picks up the loose ball for Bournemouth, plays it in, opens up the Chelsea defence. He cuts inside into the box, gets his shot away, gets a little bit of deflection, and Courtois makes the save again. Felipe Lewis switches it to the other side for Aspilicueta, plays it down the right hand side for Salah, cuts inside very well, runs at the defence, keeps going into the middle, takes his shot away to fire Chelsea into a thoroughly deserved 1-0 lead and uh, a well taken goal by Mohamed Salah and uh, it, 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 he could well keep his place in the first team for the next game against Aston Villa. Might keep him in there, might change him out. You never know what will happen for the next game against Aston Villa. 
Bournemouth come striving forward here uh, on the edge of the box. He, they split the defence open once again. They get their shot away. Very unlucky not to equalise as they hit the post. Very unlucky indeed. But um, Brett, they get the ball back again. We defend it very well. We're on the counter attack sort of now. Plays in Brown or Willian. Willian rather turns around, passes it to Brown. Who makes it very easy to score his debut goal in the Chelsea first team. He had an absolutely, he has a, had an absolutely fantastic game uh, against Bournemouth here. He wanted the opportunity. He got the opportunity. And he's made it absolutely perfect with the goal. And thoroughly deserved it. He may just keep his place in the cup side for with that. He really would. Nonetheless, a lovely goal for the young striker. They get the goal kick away. Bournemouth pick up the ball from that goal kick. They managed to keep hold of it. A good tackle from, uh, I don't know who made that tackle, but still. But the game is over. 2-0 win. Aston Villa are next. So here we go. Another game at home. This time it's in the Premier League against Aston Villa. Hopefully this is a game that Chelsea won 3-0 in real life. Can we replicate that here? I hopefully think we can. League table. Chelsea sit in second with 13 points. While Aston Villa sit down in the relegation zone. With three points from their opening five games. And uh, here come and Ramirez keeps his place in the side after a fantastic run of form. Um, he is a fantastic player. He, he, he is primarily the attacking player within the central defensive midfield. And has done very well indeed. Courtois maintains the position in goal. And... Uh, as you can see, I haven't cut the game yet from the kickoff um, because Aston Villa striving forward very well. But um, Cher commits a foul and Aston Villa get. Oh no, it was Ivanovic. Ivanovic commits a foul rather and gives Aston Villa a free kick and a chance to go 1 0 up in the opening few minutes of the game. Um, so. We get into the, get another one of the players into the wall to hopefully try and defend it. Um, and Zobbia with the free kick for Aston Villa. Chips it over the top. Courtois comes to collect it. Doesn't quite make it. And Aston Villa make light work of the header to give them a 1-0 lead through Christian Benteke. The absolute beast of a striker. Very good striker indeed. Seven minutes in. Chelsea nil. Aston Villa 1 at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League. Not good at all. But they have a free kick here once again. They play it over the top. They can manage to bring it down in a controlled manner. They're still coming forward. The Chelsea defence are all over the place. They get split open. And uh, Aston Villa hit the inside of the post. Like Remy picks up the loose ball from an Aston Villa mistake. Plays it over the top for Eden Hazard. Plays around a bit a little bit and uh, makes the pass down the side to Aspen de Quetta, who plays it into the middle. And uh, Loic Remy with an absolute beauty of a header, a fantastic header, gets a lot of power behind it to make sure Brad Guzan does not make the save. A fantastic header, gets all of his head behind it, a lot of power, a lot of neck muscle to score the Chelsea equaliser. Brilliant. Hopefully we can go on and win the game now. After that goal, I really want to. We need a win now. We need to maintain our position in the top two at least. But Oscar picks up the loose ball here, plays it into Remy, and uh, plays it even plays it down the right hand side for Sherla. Plays it back into the middle for Remy. He's inside. He shoots, and Brad Guzan makes a very good double save to uh, keep Chelsea out of the game and prevent them from going ahead. But uh, Eden Hazard picks up the ball on the left-hand side here, doing all his trickery and using all the pace he has available to him. Um, plays, it's been played over to the right-hand side. And uh, Ivanovic plays it back to Fabregas. Schürrle 
comes into the middle. It gets his shot away. I think it was Scherler. I have absolutely no idea. But we have a corner nonetheless. And nothing is made of it. And Brad Guzan makes a decent save. Aston Villa come down the right hand side here. Toying with the Chelsea defence. And uh, we can't quite get the ball from just yet. But uh, they still have it. And I couldn't believe it in the game when I was recording this. And uh, But the shot in the end was poor. The end product was rubbish, basically. So Aston Villa picked the ball up here yet again in the middle of the park. Uh, Bent, I think it is. I have no idea. I can't even read the names. Davis for Aston Villa here. Plays it into Zogbia. Whips it into the middle. And uh, a very simple goal uh, to give Aston Villa the lead for the second time in this matchup. And it's Christian Benteke once again. An absolute beast of a striker playing very well at the moment. Four games in four goals in his opening six games in the Premier League. And uh, it's now LC 2 1 down at home to Aston Villa. As you can see, we haven't cut it once again. Because Eden Hazard comes down the right hand side here once again. He's in all the pace he's got. Takes on the Aston Villa defence, cuts inside, comes running into the middle with all the pace, has a shot, and scores Chelsea's second equalising goal of the game. And. Uh, restores some sort of pride within Chelsea to give them a point, give us a point to maintain our position in the top two of the Barclays Premier League and uh, to be honest that game we should have won it and uh, obviously we didn't make much of it but you know Aston Villa give them their due, played very well to take the lead twice, unlucky to not keep hold of it but I think a draw was the fair result, I really do. So we're at the end of the game here now, pretty much. We're still striving forward to try and attempt to make a goal out of this and score a winner. Fabregas gets a shot away, but fires it wide. And uh, basically, that's pretty much how it ended. But we do have a corner here at 2 all. Um, we pass it out because crosses don't seem to be working from me at the moment. Uh, we whip it in, and nothing comes of it as Hazard's shot goes wide by quite a distance. But it ended 2-0 at the 90th minute full-time whistle. Let's go to the menus and have a look at the Premier League table. Well, guys, as you know, the next game is a massive one. Our first London derby within the Premier League season. And uh, that will be the first game within the next episode. It's obviously the one that Chelsea won just recently 2-0 at Stamford Bridge. Um... And obviously in the next game, in the second game, within the next episode, will be against Crystal Palace. Let's just take a look at the Premier League table before I end this episode. Chris, uh, Stoke City sit top of the Premier League with 15 points for opening six games. Chelsea sit in second with 14 points, still unbeaten, along with Newcastle and Sunderland, who make up third and fourth. Uh, Arsenal win fifth. Manchester City in 18th in the relegation zone, along with Aston Villa. And Swansea, Everton in 15th with a disappointing start after their six games. Liverpool and Spurs sit mid-table with a, a, a decent start. Could be better, but Manchester United sit in 7th in the Europa League spots along with their Arsenal and West Ham. So that will end this episode, gate episode guys, episode number 8. Episode 9 will contain us, Arsenal and, us, and uh, Crystal Palace. So hope you can join me in for that one guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode soon. See you later.